Hi everyone. Wanted to give you an update of my six months ribeye only challenge. So that's ribeye and water. And uh, I wanted to let you know what pretty much happened, what, uh, how I felt, all that good stuff. So I want to start, I started this on June 1st of 2021. It was ribeye only. I've done it before for two months, the year prior to that. This time around, it was a lot tougher because I had a lot of things come out. Like for example, I had acne uh, the first uh, couple months really bad. I mean, just real breakouts right here for some reason. My, my, my waist was uh, actually getting a little bit bigger and then it slimmed out. There was a lot of different reactions that happened, a lot of up and downs. My mood, I even felt a little bit slightly depressed within like week three. That was normal though. I was expecting that because last time was a case. But what, what was not normal is like month four, I started, I started having parasites in my stool where I was passing parasites, which was really surprising. Month four, I still felt, eh, I mean, everything was okay. Cravings were pretty much gone by then. Uh, by the way, overall, out of that six months, I only had two off-plan eating, a couple forks full of uh, non, non ribeye meat. How about that? So, and it had spices on it. So this was from Korean barbecue. So there was spices on it. So that was off plan. Back to how I was feeling. I really, after the fourth month, I started feeling really good. Like it's almost should be illegal to feel this good. And it's weird to explain, but also my drive though for things, motivation, you know, all of that kind of, I mean, I, it's like I didn't care much about anything. Like things were just cool. I was just happy with everything. And I say happy, it's just like nothing really seemed to bother me. Stress of life, whatever, just uh, didn't faze me. And that, that I thought was nice. The biggest takeaway of all of this six months journey was really the fact that I had no cravings. It got to the point, and that was another fourth month mark that I realized. The cravings went away so much. I told myself I was going to do six months and I, I am there. So that's the first step, obviously. So I didn't think I would be able to do it for six months. I've never done anything like this in my life. Uh, I mean, I know I've done, you know, carnivore for four years. So that's already incredible. But, uh, well, to me, to me, that's incredible. You know, but that had cheese, that had variety of things, I had pork, that had, you know, whatever, I, whatever carnivore foods I wanted to eat. But to be on a mono diet like this is very unique. And I did it for two months last year to get a feel for it. And I love the feeling. And this is why I decided to repeat it. I'm not sure, but I want to make sure that folks know the reason that I did this is because of Joe and Charlene Anderson. That's how that came with my curiosity. It's like, hmm. What would it be for me? What would happen? Could I do it? And that was a big thing, you know, could I do it? So it was always on the back of my mind and I always thought I couldn't do it because I was, oh, let me tell you, I was a, first of all, I, I still am probably very much a carb addict. I don't think of it that way because I'm, don't think, don't care. I mean, carbs are long gone in my mind, but I'm pretty sure if I had it, I would still could not stop eating it because I've done that in the past. Uh, when, when, you know, early on carnivore, I go in and it's like, I don't like the taste, but I'll just keep, keep eating, you know? Um, it's like I have a nonstop switch for carbs or sugar. When I saw that I was able to even do carnivore properly and learn to stuff myself and learn to make sure I eat my cravings away, make sure I was nourished all the time. I started noticing the, the, the idea of food freedom wasn't foreign anymore. It's like, you know, it's almost troublesome to eat. It's like, you gotta stop and actually eat. And when I started fasting also, it was actually very troublesome to stop myself to eat. But it was, it was, it was a good thing um, because it made me realize, wait a minute, life is not about eating. And that was like a light bulb moment. And now that I'm ribeye only, I'm like, oh my God, I don't have to think about, I mean, I just need to get it over with. I just need to eat to get it over with. Like for example, this morning, I'm supposed to eat two Mads, 
um, this whole November, I kind of already messed up twice, but uh, and then go to three mads in, in December. But um, what I'm trying to do is trying to see what the effects of extra food, extra ribeye, because I'm ribeye only, so it's a great, great test, right? See how that does in my body and my body composition. There will be a December challenge coming up. And if you guys are interested to hear more of how and why I do the things I do, I go into extreme detail in these challenges. I tell folks exactly how I've done it to achieve my goals, what I've gotten, and walk them through. And I can tell you, my story is the N equals one, but I've had about 300 plus clients already, and I've had many, many successful clients. My objective is to get as many carnivores as there is possible. It can be done because I did it. Not only that I did it, when I taught other people, they could do the same thing. And they're getting amazing results. I've gotten a few people with six packs just like me in a shorter amount of time, which is great. So, I mean, I definitely encourage people, if you're curious about this journey, check out the Steak and Butter Gang. Link will be in the description below. Sign up, meet me, talk to me. You don't even have to talk to me. You could just camera off and just listen. And whatever you gain out of it, I would be happy to hear your success story. We can be, in my opinion, much better human beings if we were carnivores and we had the freedom from food. So please, subscribe to my channel, join the Steak and Butter Gang, and uh, like and also comment, please. I would love and appreciate that. Be curious, stay curious. So this is normal look. I'm not, I'm not flexing right here. And then now I'll flex. See the abs come in right there when I flex. And I'm not even really, you know, trying that hard. So this is, this is nice, right? So I think it's really done really well in my body composition. My legs are very, very lean and very hard. It's weird, my whole body actually. So like right here, it feels like, I mean, so hard. Body fat is, seems next to nothing. I can barely get a good pinch. I mean, I am fatter than normal, that's the weird thing. So I look actually hulkier and bulkier than say when I start doing my rolling 48, which you will see the changes in that if you follow my channel, you will see how I transform this and start getting even leaner and it, how it's going to be cutting me. So right now, this is pretty much what I consider the bulk phase. I'm going to show you my back. This is my back. Nothing special, kind of hard to flex. I'm not good at that. So, but anyways, this is just a little preview. Thank you again for watching.